<laughs> Chris. <laughs> now, Pat, were you raised by one of the 91% or no, the 9%? No, I better listen. You don't. No, I, could, I, I could have a class action suit against my father. Me and my four <laughs> brothers for all the many times they well, used the belt on us. For the record, I was part of the 91%. All right, moving <laughs> along, folks, to a story that we've been seeing. And this, do you all remember this incredible footage yesterday afternoon about... Three o'clock off the in the just off the coast of Key Biscayne, Florida. It's this boat coming Coastway. ashore, and then about uh, 200 folks uh, from Haiti, refugees from Haiti, jumping ashore, running ashore, and then being rounded up by police. Mm -hmm. Six people now are going to be charged with the smuggling. But the key key question is: Should these people be sent back to Haiti, or should they be given asylum here in the United States? Well, joining that debate for us right now on Buchanan and Press <coughs> are Dan Stein, who's executive director of. FAIR, Federation for American Immigration Reform, here in Washington with us. And joining us from Miami, Randolph McGrordy, who's Executive Director of Catholic Charities Legal Services for the Archdiocese of Miami. Thanks both for being here. Pat. Uh, Mr. McGrordy, why not, these folks have broken into the country quite clearly, why not give them a sandwich, check them out medically, put them on a boat, and send them back to Haiti? Well, first I want to thank you for the opportunity to give voice to a group of people who have traditionally not had a voice to air their concerns. We shouldn't send them back first and foremost because we have a treaty obligation to review their claims and to see if they would face a well-founded fear of persecution if returned to Haiti. That is a, a due process that is embed embodied in our law and in our mm -hmm. international treaty obligations. All right, Mr. McGordy, um the government in Haiti, if, if I'm not mistaken, is run by Father Aristide, whom the United States sent 6,000 troops back down to put back in power. And there has been no evidence that I know of that Father Aristide, of whom I'm a non-admirer, has brought, when people have uh, walked off Haiti and gone to the United States, that they've been under any kind of persecution, unlike Cubans. Actually, I just first uh, respectfully want to request that you refrain from calling him Father Aristide. He's a former Catholic priest. He's uh, defrocked, <laughs> so to yep. speak. Um, actually, uh, I disagree very much. Um, the country reports that we have from credible human rights agencies shows that there are significant problems in Haiti. We know, for example, that everyone who is deported back to Haiti goes directly from the airplane to a Haitian jail. All right, Dan Stein, let me bring you into this. And of course, Dan, you and I have debated immigration issues for a long time. So rather than take it from me as some kind of a wacko liberal, I would like you to listen to what the Republican governor of Florida had to say about this issue. Maybe the one time in my life that I would ever agree with Jeb Bush. But here is the governor of Florida. My position has been clear. I believe that Haitians should be treated like all other people that come to our shores. There should not be a separate treatment. We, and I've, I've called, uh, I've called, I talked to the, the, uh, the INS uh, officer that is in charge of, uh, of, of this uh, situation. Um, I talked to the White House uh, uh, last night about this and urged them and they, they committed that there would be um, fair treatment, that, that the people would be treated uh, well. So, Dan, as you know, if uh, Cuban refugees come here, if they're intercepted at sea, they're sent back to Cuba. If they make it to shore, they're allowed to stay. Why should Haitians be treated any differently? Congress decided a long time ago to give a special program to Cubans, and we've been trying for 20, 25 years to get that repealed. But the bottom line here is this. We, the American people, want to decide who gets to come to this country and under what conditions. And we're getting pretty sick and tired of watching people crash our borders, whether it's from Mexico or leaky boats from Haiti or the Dominican Republic. The advocates want these folks freed when we don't even know who they are. We don't have any idea what their criminal background check is. And the only way you're going to deter this kind of illegal smuggling, because look, there's, there's poor people all over the world, and there are going to be poor people all over the world. The only way you can deter this kind of illegal smuggling is make it clear that it's not worth the attempt. If you get in, you're not going to be allowed to stay. Well, Dan, I'm not going to let you get away with that. You didn't answer my question at all. Don't blame it yeah, on you Congress. You always say that. Don't blame it on Congress. I'll Tell me why you think... <laughs> Haitians are different than Cubans and ought to be treated differently. I, look, we, Haitians ought to be treated the way every, we ought to have one asylum and refugee law and one immigration law for the entire world. 
Cubans, as I say, what Jeb Bush is basically saying is we should repeal the Cuban Adjustment Act. But in this time, this 9-11 environment where we have major security issues, why do we want to release people into our community that we know are never going to show up for their hearings? Why are we going to tolerate fraud and fraudulent claims? If these folks are legitimate refugees that can make a claim at our embassy in Port-au-Prince down in Haiti, this, we have been through this now for 25 years. The nonsense has got to stop. We have to send a consistent signal. Every time Dick Kephart makes a speech about giving amnesty to, to millions of people like he did in Miami a few weeks ago, he's sending a signal all over the world saying, come on in because we're, we're going to just forget about it. We're going to let everybody stay. So you should lay the blame right at the feet of Dick Gephardt at this point. <laughs> okay, we'll ask Mr. Stein if he agrees with the President of the United States who apparently wants amnesty for several million illegal aliens. That question to both our guests when we come back. Buchanan and Press, MSNBC, America's News Channel.